Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood XP welcoming you to another episode of Sample Diggy. And today, right off the back, I'm just going to let you know that I have absolutely no idea what's in that package right there. I like to keep it a surprise if I really don't know, just so it's a real live unboxing, unpackaging. The only thing that I do know is that it comes from QART.com, somewhere in Los Angeles. This is what I usually do with Christmas presents. I try to guess what's in the, uh, you know, what's being wrapped up before it. We get a lot of samples, so I have absolutely no idea what it could be. And some samples sometimes come between four and six weeks. Sometimes it's just easy to forget like exactly what samples have been ordered. Things like that, because we, we do get a lot of them. So, with that being said, it feels like a book. Maybe even a DVD, which is weird. I don't know if they're giving away DVDs, but um, I'm going to guess a DVD and some type of literature in here. Let's see what we have here. Now I'm going to open this uh, a little carefully because this is a bubble mailer. And since we do a lot of shipping stuff, we can easily reuse this. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, there's a thick piece of cardboard in here, which I thought was literature, but it's not. Oh, all this is connected. Well, all right. And that's it for that. All right, so let's get that out the way. And we are left with still a mystery. So a piece of white paper taped around some cardboard. So let's take this tape off of here. See what we have. I don't have to be careful with this. Oh, I see some writing. Maybe I should. And even after the name, Q-A-R-T, I have no idea what this is. Looks like an invoice. <laughs> for me. A 10 pack of assorted Wyland photo note cards. That's what it says right there. It doesn't look like it's coming in on here. But yeah, it's an invoice for what exactly are photo note cards. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's see. Oh, I kind of do remember this now. Yeah, I, I kind of remember this now. Okay. So, what these seem to be photo note cards. Not sure what that's supposed to be. That's a new area for me. Oh, wow, these come in uh, little plastic bags. That's pretty nice. A photo. Oh, wow. They give you an envelope. I guess note cards. I guess that makes sense. And you write your notes in there. I guess they're like greeting cards, maybe? Huh. Wyland Artist of the Sea. Okay, so what I do remember now, I remember, I think is you could order some posters. You had a choice to either get one of the posters or you could get cards. And I chose cards because I liked a lot of the designs that were on there. So if you pick the cards, then obviously you got an assorted pack of them, which I will be able to use these. So let's see what we have here. We have a nice seahorse. Have you seen that uh, video with the seahorse giving birth and they keep spitting out like little seahorse babies while moving backwards looking extremely gross? All right. <laughs> and the theme is uh, aquatic life. As you see with the seahorse and this pelican. Then you have whales. Oh, actually they have names. Okay, so let's go back. This is called, I like this one. Ah, this is the one I took out, so I messed it up. This one is called Seahorse Soft Corral. Number three, Dolphin Ocean's Color. It's a beautiful blue, or beautiful blues. Number four, Path of Light. <laughs> I like the name of that. It's in black and white. Interesting. That looks nice. I like that one. I don't like that it's in black and white, but beggars can't be choosy. So, thank you, Wyland, for the free cards. Uh, the next one, I believe, is five, maybe. Uh, this one is called Dolphin Aquatic. That's really nice. Uh, I'd have to send that to someone really special. Manatee Reflection. I believe that's six. That's a little creepy looking in black and white. I had it upside down. There we go. I wonder who'd like that. The next one, Clowns of the Sea. Ah. And... Nice, bright, and colorful. I wish they all were kind of like this. I like that. Now, one thing I do want to say while I'm, I'm going through these is that these are really high definition pictures. This is number eight, Manatee Encounter. This is number nine, Hawksbill Reef. OK, 
okay this one actually stands this is the first one that isn't widescreen <laughs> i still like it though and the last one number 10 humpback rising humpback 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 rising apart from the color i really like this i don't know why he has it in all purple hue all right so let's get down to it what do i think about these samples I'm going to give this a giant thumbs up. This is pretty cool and you may even have a customer, especially if these are affordable. Okay, so what do I think about the outside packaging? You know what? I'm not even going to try to rate this. All I know is that you get my approval just because I can reuse this. I can ship a DVD or something in this. So thank you for the bubble mailer. <laughs> Nothing came with it. It was pretty bare bones except for the invoice, which is funny that the invoice came with it. On to the meat and the bones, and I like that it came back in this piece of cardboard. It just reminds me of comic books. Okay, so what do I think of it? First of all, that's an extremely nice sample right there. Like, it's 10 of them. You can see the thickness of this stack, too. Like, they could have sent me one or two or three and I would have been happy but they sent me 10 of them so this is 10 different extremely big cards that I can send out because they give you envelopes with it so I can give this to people or I can send it out another plus that comes with this is the fact that each of them are individually covered with this protective plastic cover and since I grew up collecting comic books I know the importance of having covers like this if you want to preserve it so just in case you wanted to even just preserve these because you love the artwork like I really love that touch and that is definitely going to boost my score up as far as the quality of the pictures themselves I'm trying to get a better focus I have them out there and I mean this is nice and glossy it's nice and glossy it's, it's a very high res picture it actually has the logo on it and on the back of it it has the barcode let's get a little bit of uh, info about Wyland artist of the sea this little bit of info is mirrored on the backs of every last one of them. I'm going to read to you. Gather around, children. It's story time. <laughs> so it's Sample Diggy story time. You ready? All right. Here we go. Once upon a time, not... No, I'm kidding. All right. So, Wyland, artist of the sea, master artist, conservation advocate. Few artists in history can match the influence of Wyland, renowned for his incomparable wailing walls in more than 75 cities and 14 countries. Wyland's artwork and community outreach over the last 30 years have had a lasting impact that can be seen in today's global green movement. A leading advocate for marine resource conservation, the efforts of this painter, writer, sculptor, and photographer has been recognized by public and private institutions, including the United Nations, United States Congress, Sierra Club, and the Underwater Academy of Arts and Sciences, where he is listed among its Diving Hall of Fame. His equally successful Wyland Foundation, in partnership with the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, is actively engaged in teaching millions of students around the world to become caring, informed stewards of our oceans, rivers, lakes, streams, and wetlands. Hail <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As you, if you didn't know by now, I'm a little silly. But that's just the way I entertain myself. I'm sorry for the Fox 80s style news reporting way that I'm reading this. Okay, last paragraph. Hailed the Marine Michelangelo by USA Today, Wireless Outreach has extended beyond the traditional artist studio into numerous arenas. He has hosted several television programs including Wyland, A Brush with Giants, on the Discovery Channel's Animal Planet Network, also Wyland's Art Studio, a new series for public television, and was selected as an official artist for the United States Olympic team for the 2008 Summer Games in Beijing, China. Today, his work can be found in museums, corporate collections, and private homes in more than 100 countries. That's the little bit of knowledge that about Wyland that they give you right there on the back of every card. I'm pretty glad that I picked the cards instead of the one poster. I like them and I'll be able to share them. Now what I'm going to do is open up the one that I like the most. I'm not sure if that's the clownfish or the two dolphins. I don't remember the name of that one. This one. I like this one. Which was called Dolphin Aquatic. So these are my two favorite. 
I'd probably be really excited if I was like that aquatic loving type of person. I'm not, but I do appreciate art, which of course I know is subjective, but this is what appeals to me, which is these two right here. Cause I love the color. I love the way they just submerged. And it seems like they're looking at the cameraman. And those could look like smiles, like they're posing for the camera. <laughs> and of course I like this one because it's nice and colorful. Even though those fish look a little serious. What do, how do I feel about these? I am glad that I got these. Because like I said, there's the comic book cover plastic around them, which was an extremely nice touch. And there's the, the actual quality of the picture out of the plastic, just in case you wanted to preserve these. Then there's the added, like I had no idea it was gonna come with envelopes. I didn't even know what these were. I just thought they were gonna be like cards, not a card that you can open up and actually write in. Write your happy birthdays, your get wells, your hey, I'm just thinking about you. Now, what I, the, the, what I do like about these cards also, oh, that's a perfect fit. Feels like it's custom made for the cards themselves. Um, what I do like about this is the way they look, like I said, and the fact that you open this up, and this can be any card that you like because it's just a completely blank slate. This can be whatever card you want it to be. I really like the fact that they sent you 10 of them. So this is really interesting. I really like this. They're big too because I have big hands. So these are some big cards. Let's see if they have the, uh, see, um, nowhere on the invoice does it have the size of them. As a quick look, I don't see it. But these are big, like look how big these are. Out of a one to 10, I'm gonna give the presentation a 10 because I'm thoroughly impressed by this. I really am. And especially this one right here, this one is going to a special girl. I really like this one. So thank you for this one especially because this one, and plus it shows two of them. So that'd be me and her. And my romantic love note that I need to. And plus, you know, everybody's texting social medias. So it'd just be nice to give someone something handwritten in the card like this and then put it in the envelope and actually send it to them so they can read, you know, even take it old school and have a little cologne smell in it. So she goes to open the mail and surprise, it's a handwritten card on a beautiful card like this. So it comes with the, um, the back it comes with an envelope that pretty much seems custom made for the card and that's it and it, it was basically free so with that being said I really like the presentation of it so out of a 1 to 10 you get a sample diggy 10 sample volume easily a 10 I just 10 different people or the same person 10 different times <laughs> or you know however you want to do it or if you just want to not you can send these to people what I like about it or you can just preserve them in here. Like, I really like that they have these protected with the plastic over them. I mean, even over the art that I really like, that's the way I get it. That's why I give it a 10. Well, at least I know what note cards are now. A nice alternative to store cards. I mean, if, if I go on the website and they're just a few bucks each, I'm going to buy these. One reason I'm going to buy them, not because I particularly like the aquatic theme all of them have, but because how generous this company is with their sample. And I just like generous hearts. And I like to give back. You, you put the love in and you get the love back. Just like that. So I uh, don't want to philosophize why I'm going to buy it. But let's just say that I'm going to buy some if they're affordable. I'm definitely going to go back to the website and fish around. What do I think of them as a whole? I really like them. And I'm not even a card type of person. But, I mean, you could even give them the card and also give them the plastic and let them know. And you can write something in here that you don't want them to forget and ask them to keep the card in the protective plastic too. So it would just be really something that you can go back to this card years later and it would be in this protective plastic and you can pull it out or however you want to do it. I really like that. There's that. Or even if you don't want to use these as cards, like look at the size of these or the, the quality. Of, you could put these in picture frames. No one has to know that this is a card. Just on its own, you can look at it like this and put it in maybe, like what's the standard? Five by eight, which is probably what these are. Six by nine, five by eight, I would say. Be a nice desk picture, nice wall picture. Just add a nice 
type of frames you like. If you like the variety, you can change it or you can scatter them, frame them around your wall. But you can have these by 10 frames with these samples and arrange them on your wall how you like them. So I really like that too and that's probably what some people will do. Why is that probably what some people would do? I don't know. <laughs> I just pulled that out of nowhere. But I, I would think like that, just of different ways to use these. So with that said, that the description of them is definitely, I'm going to say a nine. The only reason why I say I give it one off that it's not perfect is because it's not really my cup of tea. I look at this pelican picture and I just it just doesn't touch me. Like I like the a couple of them. Some that I genuinely like are the, the ones that I showed you. But stuff like this turtle, the pelican, and manatees and black and white dolphins, like they just don't they don't jump out at me as be being beautiful. But the pictures themselves, the quality of it is extremely good. Like, so there's a difference. I don't want to say that it's bad. I just want to say that the art direction itself doesn't jump out at me, which doesn't diminish the quality of the actual product itself. That's just personal choice. So with that being said, I do recognize that. Even if not, there's some of them, which is probably why they sit in the variety pack, because there's the variety. A couple of them did get to me, like this one. The pros of the samples is that they sent you 10 of them. If they did send you one or two of them, and I didn't like either one of them, then that probably would have been uh, whatever. But I still would have been kind of impressed because of the way that they shipped with the, um, the protective plastic and the envelope that comes with it and the, the quality of it. But that I, the fact that it's 10 different ones and I could find a few of them that I really like that even made me want to sense some to specific people is definitely a plus. The only cons that I can find with this are some of them just don't jump out at me and that's it and that's just a personal choice would I buy this yes I would um, I'm not sure how much I would be realistically willing to spend I'd like to get them like if it's a pack of cards for maybe 10 15 20 I'd probably buy those my conclusion of these is that I'm thoroughly impressed by them I like the artwork on some of them I love the quality of all of them. I love the packaging in all of them. I love the way that they took the extra care. Again, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Sample Diggy. For daily samples and freebies like these, to show you where to find samples like these every day, go to SampleDiggy.com. The link is in the description below. Also, it would be nice if you would like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sample Diggy, of course, for regular updates. Thank you for watching and see you next time.